What does it mean in Acts 15.39 when it says Paul and Barnabas sharply argue? That is their dispute over John Mark. And in this case, Paul was wrong. Half Paul wrote almost half of the New Testament. Paul was not correct. I'm not saying that he sinned. He's, it's not a sin. But he was incorrect about John Mark, who we have a gospel because of him. And then he says, bring him to me. This is at Paul's deathbed. Well, you can get with that. And there arose such a sharp disagreement that they separated from one another. And Barnabas took Mark with him and sailed away to Cyprus. So sometimes, unfortunately, sometimes trust that have been compromised or trust that has been broken due to preferences. I mean, again, you can't say that there, that there are reasons for holding to their view or their preference is sinful or wrong because number one, the text doesn't say that. But these are the legitimate reasons why both decided to respond the way that they responded regarding one individual, John Mark. Paul was, was, was right to have the conviction that he had because a trust had been broken, a trust or a confidence had been violated. And so Paul in that time did not want to take along John Mark. That was it for him. But that doesn't mean that Barnabas was wrong for wanting to take John Mark with him. Neither men were wrong. Neither men sinned in what they wanted. What makes it sin is how we respond when we don't get what we want. So all we have in the text is that it was a sharp disagreement. In other words, it was they got into an argument. The text doesn't say what kind of argument it was in the sense that it was it was it a sin. The text does say this. It was a sharp disagreement to the point to where they had to part company. That's what we see in the text. And we need to, we need to let the text say what the text says. You can get with that.